What's going on everyone? We're gonna go over the plays for this coming week and first we're gonna look at Dollar Tree. This is gonna be one that I will be shorting first thing in pre-market. We have the options chain pulled up here. Now if we look at the open interest on the call side, um, there's really not much of anything going on until you get down, let's see here, uh, there's really not much of anything period. Um, the most open interest we have in the options is gonna be 150 uh, at the 150 strike. IV's pretty low. And on the put side, there's just nothing. So again, I'm sorry, that's the wrong week. Let's go to the, the current week. This is the correct week, okay. This makes more sense. Okay, so open interest. If we look down the chain, we have, we have resistance here at the 195 mark, we have resistance here at the 150 mark, and we have resistance here at the 136 mark. So I planned, I assume that 136 may be the top so if you want to wait and try to short somewhere around 136, that may be ideal. I'm going to be impatient with this one. I'm going to go ahead and jump in first thing pre-market. Now we also have some resistance built in right here as well, making me think it could be walked down to that 130 mark. And we have even more right here at the 120 mark. And that's, uh, you know, even 115, 114. So could we see a massive move to the downside? I'm not sure. All that we know is that if we look at the chart of Dollar Tree and we look on the daily, there is gaps to be filled, uh, you know, a lot of gaps. So right here, this gapped up here, and then we gapped up again right here. So very, very nice potential short here. So definitely a fan of this one. I will be shorting this first thing pre-market. And now let's look at Futu. This is going to be a long play. This is the chart we're looking at here. Let's go to the daily. Now, if you look at this one, this one has several gaps down. So we gapped down way back on the 6th of July, gapped down, and now we're sitting at about 50, you know, very, very <laughs> small percentage of the price that it used to be just a few months ago. So yes, I anticipate an upside move at some point from this one, considering we did have this gap down, and it needs to be filled, as well as these gaps down here, so I'm looking to exploit that. Now, if you look at the options chain for Futu, let's see here. Options chain for Futu, all strike prices. Where is the resistance? Okay, so we have resistance built in at the 57, 60, 65. Is there any support? What we want to look for is support in the put side. Um, we do have some open down here, not much at all. We have 105 at the current price, and we have a little bit down here. The good thing is, is like unlike Dollar Tree, you notice we had all the, the open interest in the thousands, you know, below the current strike. We don't see that with with Futu. Um, further, you know, making me believe this is going to be a, a long bullish play. They Everything on the screen that I've shown you has earnings going into next week. So what we're trying to do is play off the volatility of the earnings. Next, let's look at CLIR. This is going to be another short play. And let's look at the options chain real quick. This one doesn't have, have much. It only has three. But uh, open interest is non-existent, basically. Let's look at the chart. Options is basically useless on that one. What makes me want to short this one, however, is the chart on the daily. I'm sorry, this is a long play. What am I thinking? I was wondering why the options chain looked weird. Okay, so this is a long play. So as you can see, another gap down. This one's heading into earnings. We had earnings right here, right? Look at this. Earnings here followed by a downtrend. Earnings here, followed by an uptrend. Then we have a super big downtrend, and then we have a gap to fill. Now, what's interesting is that the gap tried to fill, but it didn't. It hit the high point on the bottom of the gap, so it's still got to fill this gap. So it's got to go right here. So this will be a long play to keep an eye on. I don't think I'll enter in this one until I wait and see what happens on Monday. Um, immediate play is going to be Dollar Tree. Now lastly, let's look at ADI. This should be the long, uh, this should be the second short one. So looking at the options chain, this is our second short play here. Open interest is pretty low. We, the most of it's built out at the current strike, as we want to see if we're shorting. Is there any support in the put section? Not much of anything. So we have just as much resistance down here at 175 that we do right here at 190, basically just about as much. So. Looking at the chart though, it looks a little bit more, a little bit more 
worthwhile to short this thing, because, again, gap to fill. So this gap here, way down here, has yet to fill. That's where I'm looking, right here. But in the short term, maybe this one, or this one here. Either way, should be a good week. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible.